The number of people in Austin who escaped the dangers of Hurricane Harvey near the coast may soon go from hundreds to thousands. The state is asking city leaders to accept as many as 7,000 evacuees in the coming days. The Night Beats' Tina Shively is live at the Delco Center in Northeast Austin with some of their stories. Well, Quita, there's about 550 evacuees in Austin right now. 200 of them are here at the Delco Center. And while they're all from different places along the coast, they all have one thing in common. They can't wait to return to what they left behind. Lou, what are you doing? Giggling is second nature for six-year-old Gabriela Aguilar. But... <laughs> But she also knows her family is in Austin for a very serious reason. We came here because we didn't want to get attacked by the hurricane. Mom Kayla chose to pack up and leave Port Lavaca. We just left. We came here. Choosing an Austin shelter over staying with family in Victoria. I'm glad because we would be stuck there with, you know, no, nothing. More families who decided to evacuate because they didn't have power or food may soon join the Aguilars at Austin's Delco Center. City leaders confirm as many as 7,000 people could soon flee to Austin. We got here like uh, three nights ago. Gregory Roberson left his Bay City home late last week. It's the second time he and his wife were forced to flee to Austin. We've been through storms, but we've, uh, we've never been through anything like this. Because the last storm, we were able to go home sooner. Harvey's widespread damage could force Austin shelters to stay open for weeks. City leaders are considering the convention center as one of the places to house our guests. We're seeing the devastation back home, and we're worried if we're going to even be able to make it back home. <laughs> Cindy Einan is eager to get back to her husband, a first responder in Pearland. My husband's safe getting people off the freeways, you know, all hours of the night, so it's not safe. Now, Austin City Council is calling a special meeting tomorrow at 9 o'clock to discuss how the city will respond. Of course, we'll have the very latest for you on KVU News Midday. Reporting live at the Delco Center tonight, Tina Shively, KVU News Nightbeat.